We are back in the beginner series here in the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today is the day we unlock the 7 mil. We are less than 12,000 cash away, it's 36,000 total to buy it, and we'll have the 7 mil polymer rounds unlocked as well by the time we get to that point. So we're in Runaki, which is a really good area, you get a lot of animals, and as you can see, this is nearly a perfect scenario. A whole herd of whitetail. We're going to try to get the bucks first because they will give more cash, but really all we got to do is shoot one, follow the herd, wait until they either start to come back or get close enough that we can call them back, and just kind of repeat the process. So this should actually go somewhat quickly as long as they cooperate with us. So we'll sneak into range and we'll get to it. I would say we probably want to shoot that one. He's the most broadside. And the 270 with a double lung shot actually does get 100% quick kill on the whitetail. So if we do end up too low with that broadside of shot, we should still get double lung. Using the map as a rangefinder, 154. We did unlock zeroing last time, so we know we're good at 150. We're still going to aim for spine. And whether we got spine or double lung, he is dropped in his track. So well on our way to getting the 7 mil unlock. Now, I do recall last time uh, those couple of ducks that we didn't find. That will drop us our consec, so we are going to have a little less cash than we get otherwise, but with the amount of whitetail here, if we just kind of follow them, we should be all set. So we actually ended up too low there. Double lung, liver, and stomach, and as expected, dropped our consec, so only 630 cash from him. I think we'd be looking at like 800 per whitetail, 750, something like that. But... The amount we have here, we'll get up there pretty quickly if we can catch up with them. Looks like they've actually stopped up here in a feed zone. I'm not going to be too particular about which one I shoot. We're going to be calling most of them back in anyway. So we might as well get that doe if we can. She is definitely within range. Let's just see if we can get her in the spine. I'm not even sure if she went down. Let's see if we see any... Running hard? I don't think so, so she must have dropped. And again, we're just going to kind of keep up with them and try to bring them back, get them in range, and drop all of them if we can. Definitely did drop her. Wrong spine is highlighting, but about 550 cash uh, with only 40% on the consex, so not too bad. And they are already trying to get back here. That's exactly the scenario we want. Where they're trying to come back to the zone over and over. So now we really don't need to try to keep up with them as much. We really just need to focus on shooting an animal and not spooking them further. So if we just kind of crawl around here, they're going to try to trot right back. And honestly, I think I am going to maybe use the 243. I just want to make sure we've got polymer tip bullets equipped. And we do. And the reason for that is they're going to be running right back at us. And a neck shot should not be too difficult. But here's what I mean. They're all trying to come right to us. I don't even need to call. I know they're trying to get to that feed zone that's right there. I could just wait in it. Um, but I'm trying to find a spot where I can see. I could crawl back right now, but I'm sure, as I just kind of found a little opening, we'll be able to do something. This one's already all the way here. If I had a bow, that would be even better. But unfortunately, I don't. But now we can zero for 75 and be a little more precise on our close range shots. So, that was the 243. Again, I'm only using that because the shots aren't going to be that difficult, and I'm saving on the 270 ammo. So we'll grab her. That is going to get our consec good to go from then on out. 583 cash from that as well. I'm not actually sure. That might just be the base amount that you get from a whitetail doe. But again, we're just going to kind of slowly sneak forward because they might not try to come back, but I expect them to. So as long as I don't go too fast and as long as I don't, like, spook them before I can see them, We'll be fine. And they're on their way back once again. That's a pretty good broadside shot. We're 0 for 75. I'm just going to alert her by moving around. We'll take her there. So hopefully you get the idea. And the reason I say that is, I think now we're going to cue a little montage. I think that might have been the last one. There's another track here, but 
No sign of another one coming with her. But either way, that does put us one level higher and also to nearly 32,000 cash. So I think we're going to go ahead and leave the herd, even if there is a few more, which I'm starting to think this is actually another herd, the amount of tracks here. Yeah. Oh, that's a black down. Never mind. Um, but we do have another skill point, which I think we are going to start in the ambusher because some of the stuff in the ambusher tree is quite useful. So we'll go ahead and throw that in there to unlock some of that. It might not look like there's a lot of hunting pressure here, but uh, you might notice pretty much all the hunting pressure off the rest of the map is gone. So we just killed like, I don't even know, let's look. 11 total harvest. The first one was at 6.27 a.m., the last one at 6.46. So in under 20 minutes, we basically wiped out an entire herd of whitetail and a black bear. Like, that's the importance of what I was saying, sticking with that herd. And just always catching them on their way back to the feed zone. In 20 minutes, we killed 11 animals. That's, like, really great for efficiency. And we're now, like, less than 5k cash from getting that 7 mil. There's a bear. A 5. I'm gonna try to scoot around again and get his attention again. Bit of a tough shot. Tried to put that in his heart. I don't think we got it there. If he makes it this far, I'm gonna try to hit him with the 7 or the uh, 243. Died right on the walkway. Reason for that was, I think I would save integrity if I used the 270 once and then the 243. I'm not sure 270 twice. And of course, that would actually get us more cash if we saved our integrity bonus. So nearly 1300 for that guy. That was actually extremely lucky to get double lung. Shot just under the heart there, but not too bad. 75% quick kill, still pretty decent. More white tail. I barely have the ammo for this, but... We only need like 3,000 more cash, so we're going to go for it. We are going to try to get a buck with our 270 because I've just got the one round left. I'll scoot over here just a little more. Just to get a little better shot of that guy. All right. Sweet. Oh, they're going to come this way as well. This might get interesting. I didn't even see that guy. That's a good buck. All right. I'd like to get him if I can. That's a nice one, too. All right, we're going to try to catch one of the spine as they cross in front of us here. It's going to be weird because of all the reeds. Oh, they might just take off sprinting. Maybe not. Nice. Can we get the other one as well? If we get behind him and try to catch him in the neck on the way by, that's a huge herd of whitetail. I don't know where half of them were hiding. All right, I think it's this one. I think I missed that entirely. Need them to start trotting again. I'm not sure they're going to do that where we can see. Um, sort of. I just don't have any breath. Let's go to 150. Let's not. Let's just stick with what we got. Save them last couple of shots for a few more that are going to be a little more high percentage. But we got this guy here, which is actually a good looking buck, a gold, 815, got into his spine there, that's 750 cash almost. And then this one up here will have us to over 34,000, so a few more of those guys and we'll be set. Another 700 cash from him, actually we only need like 1700 more cash uh, and we'll be good. So I came up here to the outpost where we ended the last video and we've got a buck, we've got a moose. I think there was another buck somewhere over here I can't see right now. So if we can get one or several of these, we should actually be set. I've only got the 243 rounds, unfortunately, so we'll probably just worry about the deer, to be honest. We can call him in. That's not the right buck. He's here, though. And that angle's good. We'll take what we can get. I think we're going to need probably two anyway. There's a yote. That would be even better, to be honest. Did not get the spine there. You know what? To be honest, a 243 shot, even a bad one on a yote, does kill it. 
So I'm not going to ruin our integrity bonus, especially if that was actually a decent shot. So yeah, that's 976 cash from him. That's not bad. If the yote went down quickly, which it doesn't look like it has, but it will go down. That'll get us, I would say, at worst, a thousand. And that will actually put us over the top. We'll need one more kill after that. Uh, just to get to another thousand cash, because the polymer tip rounds cost about a thousand for ten. And then we will finally have the seven mil. 1129 cash for a not so great shot on a level one female coyote. So that puts us at 36,450. So another 600 cash, ideally. And we'll be set. The bad thing is I do somewhat need to rest as well. To get the light to be better. So that's going to be like 250. I'm trying to think what would be best. Let's go rest. Because hunting in the dark is just not fun. And then the polymer tips are going to cost us 880. So we need another 680 cash. And we'll be good. I can go ahead and buy the... 7 mil now. Not that it really matters. We're not going to be using it quite yet, but we'll get that purchased. Go find hopefully one more kill to get us that much cash, and then we'll finally have it. That will do it. The thing is, the wind is bad. That, though, is not a bad angle. Perfect. I had to take that shot while the outline was there. I had to somewhat rush it because as soon as the outline goes away, and I can no longer see where she's at in the brush. She could change her angle and not give us such an easy spine. I don't know if that one's going to stay there. If it does, we'll try to get it. But I'm guessing it's going to take off. And that angle's just kind of not so fun. And with the wind being like this, it's going to be hard to sneak in close. But this one should be right up here. Yeah, she knows we're here. I'm going to let that go. Just for the fact that we do have these 7 mil now. And as soon as we actually have that equipped with the polymer rounds, bears at a distance are not going to be an issue. But that's 1,200. Yeah, hey, 1, 2, 3, 4 cash. How about that? Uh, and now we've got enough money for a 7 mil polymer rounds. So I think we're actually going to go back up here and grab them. And the reason for that is we are pretty much ready to wrap up this video. But I do feel the 7 mil is the most important gun in the game. And now that we have it, we have to at least shoot one animal. So, if that moose will give us some kind of shot, we'll go for it. Hopefully a little more broadside. And maybe a little less in the brush there. That is why the 7 mil is so good. We are pretty much capable now of taking down any animal in the game immediately. 100% quick kill, no issues whatsoever. So I think the next episode is going to probably be on Hirschfelden for two reasons. Number one, the bison could be huge cash and XP. I've honestly never tried it as a beginner, so that's going to be somewhat new to me as well. I do know that they like to come back to their zones, but if that doesn't work, red deer are insane cash. So if the bison aren't working, we're just going to go for red deer and we are going to make as much cash as we can with them. I mean, if you're just going to sit there, I'll regain my breath and we'll shoot a duck as well. Or a bull moose that's a gold. That could be more fun. And, of course, the spine glitch. Unfortunately, that's just a thing that happens. But he's back. And, if he'll stop again, we can't get a spine glitch if we shoot him in the heart. I don't really know. There he is. He's hiding really well. So yeah, if you don't know what the spine glitch is, it seems like sometimes on Moose, you can feel like you have the perfect spine shot lined up. You can be right on that spine, and it's almost as if there's no hitbox. It kind of seems like it goes right through it. So anyway, we got him. He's an 849 gold, 171 trophy, and that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time on Hirschfelden.